Welcome back to the big show. Well, we do it here every day. We read words off the teleprompter. I don't need this. Hold this. We try to do it at least. Uh, but President Obama is kicking that concept up a notch. Wherever he goes, it goes with him for speeches that run five minutes. Come on over here. To uh, maybe 50 minutes. But it turns out that that teleprompter is causing problems for the press crew covering the president. That's right. We don't need the teleprompter here. We're back this morning with Governor Mike Huckabee as I... Is it Mike Huckabee? I don't even know. According to the teleprompter that I'm looking at right here off camera, it is. Do we have a wide shot of that, I guess? It is a bit different. And there you see there the go. teleprompter and what the, the view is like. And, Governor... That's the shot I wanted. <laughs> Welcome Best back laid to you. plans. So these are the words on the, on the floor. This is what you see when you're, when you're with Obama or when you were on the campaign trail. But you, you, you don't that, necessarily, yeah. as a governor, you didn't necessarily use a teleprompter a whole lot. Why not? Uh, well, for the most part, you want to be able to speak with the sense of uh, spontaneity. You want to be able to look at the eyes of your audience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I understand if you're, if you're crafting a very, very important speech or something where every word matters. For example, if you're giving an announcement that has legal implications, then you have to be careful because your words could, in fact, be used against you. Which is one of the few times you used a teleprompter as governor. A as a governor, right. Minute, I almost never used it as a governor. Yeah, explain but, to us. Uh, guys, I have, yeah. some, I, well, I have some words right here in this teleprompter. Can we <laughs> take a look at this? Because I'm not going to do this unless it, this, it's tossed to a soundbite right now of Rush Limbaugh challenging uh, President Obama. Okay, it says that in the teleprompter, <laughs> so throw to it. <laughs> They wanted me to be the focus of attention, so let's have the debate. I am offering President Obama to come on this program without staffers, without a teleprompter, without note cards, to debate me on the issues. I, yeah, so this teleprompter is what he uses out on the road all the time, Governor. And when he's out there, of course, there, it got a little bit of a, a flap the other day uh, for Health and Human Servi uh, Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. He, she was out to come out of speech, and President Obama's standing there, and this teleprompter thing moves up. This is a glass plate in right. front of her. It starts to go down, and she gets a little thrown off, and he says, oh, don't worry about that. That's going to go down. So it seemed like she was going without notes, and he's up there constantly using notes. Is this a crutch? Well, you know, the point is a teleprompter is a useful tool, and I don't begrudge him for using it. I think it can be very helpful, particularly when he wants to get his message across and be very precise and be on time. But for a simple announcement like today, I want to present to you my Health and Human Services Secretary. It is unprecedented for a president or anyone else for the most simplest of things to use a teleprompter and to script every single word. That's what is different about this president. And historians have gone back for the past 25 years right. and have said it is an unusually sure. uh, significant use of it. But let's be honest, this is one of the most talented speakers we've ever seen. What does this mean that he uses the prompter? Is it just something to talk about or is it a problem? Well, it's not a problem. I mean, it's his personal style. And, and frankly, I think we've got to cut him some slack. His job is to communicate. If he can communicate better with a prompter than he can extemporaneously. Mm -hmm. And he is a great communicator when he has the script. Now, there's a difference between a great communicator and a great reader. He's an excellent reader. Okay. He's an excellent speaker when he has the text. I know, I would be a nervous wreck, though. You have to hand it to him. You're right. I mean, I would be so nervous because look at, look at the campaign trail. Every time one of these politicians made a gaffe, it was all over the news. So Tell it's me like, about it. You You're know? telling me? I know. Well, this is a problem. Are you kidding me? I'm remembering. I'm remembering. Let's go back because I love it forever. So it's just easier campaign. to trust the script. Yeah. Well, from Arkansas, and you know Bill Clinton very well, and I think that might be the difference between communicating. It seemed like subject matter that he knew deeply. He was a policy wonk, of course. And I remember the second, second State of the Union address. He got up there and the prompter crashed. Yeah. And there was no prompter at all. Right. So he was going off of memory. He knew this stuff very well. Does it, is that a reflection of President Obama basically not knowing the material? I would say it's a better reflection of President Clinton in being a master of his policy and also being a master communicator. One of the things that I think you want to achieve is that when you're looking at your audience, you're not talking to the text. You're talking to the audience. And you're, you're looking in their eyes and you're getting anchor points through that audience right. and you're wanting to find out what are they telling you in their faces. That will give you the ability. Do you know? Do you need to be more intense? Do you need to toss in something here? That's to be able to be spontaneous and roll with it. Yeah. Okay, Governor, thank you so much for <laughs> joining us this morning. <laughs> and good luck on your big stimulus tour, too. You're going to be heading out to different cities, right? That's what it says here. Well, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do in a couple of weeks. We're going to be going out to some American cities that are struggling and talking about what can happen to save the towns. All right, you can always catch a show like on the weekend, read too. the prompter. That's right. Read the prompter this please. weekend. Eight, thank you. Thank you, Governor Huckabee. <laughs> a hidden fee just for...